Happy, thank goodness it's Friday. Yay! Yay! Do you notice anything about me? She's so gorgeous. This is what happens after you spend two days with sixth graders. They're a little wild. I'm not going to lie. It's their energy level. I can never. It's Actually, a little unmatched. You are mellow. Sometimes moody. Sometimes eighth graders are moody. But sixth graders are like, ah! Like 24-7. Then something happens in seventh grade. And then by eighth, you're just like, whatever. But there's a big difference. There's a big difference. I'm a little tired. Are you a little tired? It's Friday. How'd your week go today? Or this week? It was huh? all right, I guess. Anything exciting? Uh, no. Did you find Timothy? No. Okay. But what's his face is right here. His name is Leviticus Anthony the um, fourth. Shout out to Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson prints those for a $50 fee. So if you give him $50 in cash or he does do debit cards, you can print other stuff on his printer. I'm pretty sure it's $50. I don't know. We'll go with that. He needs a side income. It's fine. For real. Okay. Yeah. So today we don't really, we're just going to recap some stuff that we've been talking about. My hair is very distracting. I'm just, it's a little crazy. Um, anyways, flag contest in your advisory, start planning what you're going to build, what you're going to design. Cause we want to win. I have no clue who won the back to school night, but supposedly we had the best turnout in five years. I was here. That's all that matters. Yeah. Did you come? No. Okay. Well, your advisory is not winning now. Oh. So I don't know who gets pizza, but I'm sure they might announce it on the intercom. But what they did ask, and then there's the Lego Club, Lego Robotics Club with Mrs. Zisk. But Mrs. Zisk, you need to tell me when and where, because kids are starting to ask about the Lego Club. And I just don't know what time, when it's going to happen or where it's going to happen, Lego Robotics. So, Mrs. Zisk, give me that info. Um, open gym. What day do sixth graders have open gym? I don't know. I don't go into the gym. Did you listen to the announcements? Nope. Because we talked about it here when you were not here. When oh. I had Nathan. Remember, did you see Nathan? Yeah. He's got a lot of energy, too. I believe it's Mondays as sixth graders. Okay. And seventh and eighth graders are Thursday. That's what I think I remember. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last but not least, we are going to remind you of school expectations. There are, don't look, one, two, four, five. There's five. Five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me one. Single. What, what is one school expectation? No cell phones. No cell phones. True. No cell phones or earbuds. You can't have the thing sticking out of your ear. If we see it, we take it. None. That. This, she's breaking a school rule right now. Okay. That's low expectations. I have high expectations. So that's a broken oh. rule. One. It's after school. No, okay. No. Whatever. <laughs> that's another one. So look at this. She's <laughs> chewing gum. There's no gum around this building. You've broken two school rules. Your expect, my expectations are crushed right now. No gum chewing. Teachers, you're watching this video, look around your room and find how many people are chewing gum. I want to see who has the highest count. That is not allowed in the school. Come on. What's the third expectation? I'm looking at you. Look at the list. <laughs> IDs. IDs. You have to wear your ID at all time. Look, I am. Where's the name on this thing? Tyler. Well, oh, they wrote it in white. I'm blind. Look, I'm Tyler. I'm wearing my ID. I can get in the library. I can go on the soccer field. I can get lunch. I can get free stuff. But if I get caught without this, what do I get? Trouble. Sunday, sa Saturday school. Thank you. I was going to say, you don't listen to anything. Saturday school. <laughs> They're going to start, start assigning Saturday school. That's a lot of S's. I'll tell you one thing I don't want to do on a Saturday, and that's come to school. I would. I like to sleep in, drink my coffee, snuggle with my dogs, do nothing. If you said, what's the thing you'd like to do the least, and that would be the most horrible consequence, I'd say Saturday school. So where are your ID? That sounds horrible. I wonder what poor adult has to manage that because you couldn't pay me enough. Okay. And this is one I don't think you're going to get. This is actually almost a teacher expectation, but you're looking at the cheat sheet. But students, ruin it. Do you know what the fifth expectation is? Grades. 
email your no. teachers. Yeah, well, um, but, yeah. I, I don't know. The freckle freckle. Teachers, you're doing attendance, you're teaching your class. If there's a student sitting in your classroom that is not on your roster, that is forbidden. That's a huge safety risk. Students, don't ditch your class and then go to some other teacher's class and sit in there because one, you're going to get in trouble for truancy and two, the teacher is going to get in trouble. They're really cracking down on it because it's turning into a big safety issue. I have students who walk into my library office all the time during class and I always say, hi, how are you doing? And they're like, great, Miss Arnold. And then I answer, it goes, where are your pass? Where is your pass at? Get out, get out, get out. Always I'm nice and here. say hi, right? But then yeah. I tell you to get out because I am not going to have you hang out in here when you should be in a class. I'm not harboring then she fugitives because then I get in trouble. And a consequence for me is they're going to make me go teach English again. And I don't ever want to teach ELA again. You, you were a teacher? Yes, by the way, many years. I used to teach ELA. You look like an art teacher. <gasps> Is this what Miss Lamb looks like? Is that what you're no, saying? No, that's not what I'm Ms. saying. Miss Lamb. Okay. Anyways, but yes. Yeah, so those are expectations. We need to start holding students accountable. Students need to start holding teachers accountable. We all need to hold each other accountable. The buddy system. No more gum. No more cell phone earbuds. Stay out of other classrooms that you're not supposed to be in. Dress code. That was the other one. We didn't talk dress code. Cover it up. And no head stuff. No thingies i think boys wear hats but the nets no nets hats bandanas why none of it none okay because we're in a professional setting here don't i look professional no we are no, Do I look we professional? Are. no we are i am i look professional yeah totally. okay we're at six I'm minutes i'm totally not in sweat rambling seven we're at seven minutes of rambling do you have anything else you'd like to add this is joe uh yeah she smells like strawberries Okay, there you go. That's what we're going to end it with. Expectations. You're going to be in Saturday school because you're breaking all the rules. No, I'm going to be napping. ID. And happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Go Scorpions. Bye.